Hey guys, Jasmine here, Loud Clues of 2013, and I'm so honored and excited to be sitting next to Emily Sande. Oh, thank you. I'm such a huge fan of yours, and I got to check out your Loud Clues that you just. Awesome. It was fantastic. Thank you. First time here performing. Yes. What was it like? It was um, incredible, you know, for me, it just uh, coming over here and, and doing this was a big deal, you yeah. know, it's, it's my first time here and the crowd was incredible, you know, showed so much love and support and that's all you can ask as a new artist, yeah. so I, I'm really hyped after it. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, you performed at the Olympics for <laughs> crying out loud, so I, I can't be like, so what's it like performing to this crowd, but like, I mean, what, I mean, but Lollapalooza specifically has such a rich history, I mean, introducing talent, yes. Supporting big acts. What's it like performing on this particular stage? Um, well, this one, I mean, I saw the lineup and you can see how eclectic the mix is, and it's really, you know, the vibe's just very supportive. Even backstage, everyone's really cool. So for me, even though it's different nerves from the Olympics or something like that, you're still nervous because you still want to bring something. You still want to add to the atmosphere. The album, our version of events, got so much critical praise. Is there a follow up in the works? Yes, yeah, I've been writing a lot and I'm working on an EP at the moment. Okay. So, uh, and then I'm in LA tomorrow to write. So, okay. lots. I mean, I just love creating. So, yeah. I'm excited to really let it all come out again. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea of when the EP might come out and who are you working with? Um, at the moment, I've been working with a lot of UK producers like Naughty Boy, who I worked on the album with. And over here, uh, I'm hoping I can get in. Well, I worked with Wycliffe, which is a, like nice. um, a dream, yeah. you know, a real dream come true. And just really producers that inspired me when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. Naughty Boy, you're just saying, um, is he going to be on the... I mean, is, is this like a life, like production partner situation. I feel like that. I feel like we are, um, we're really linked musically and anytime I get spare time, we don't really go to work. We just kind of hang out yeah. and music happens. So yeah. he is, is my favorite person to work with. He's, he's just a, a great friend. Yeah. And his debut album is coming out. Yes. Just, I mean, yes. what's it like? I mean, cause it's, it's so much fun enjoying success with your friends oh. and people you support. Like how is he yeah. feeling right now? He's very excited. I mean, his first single has done so well all around the world. Yeah. so far and I'm just so happy for him because he's invested in so many artists so far mm -hmm. so for this to be happening is, is great and uh, you know being involved in his project we can share it all together so I'm I'm really happy yeah and you you also got to work with the rudimentals yes um, tell me how you what, what the name of the song is and how you linked up with them yeah uh, uh, rudimental are a new group in the UK yeah. and they're from East London I live in East London mm -hmm. it made sense and I've worked on two songs with them one okay. free and more than anything yes so the one I performed tonight was free Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be doing a show in New York coming up. They're supporting me on the tour. I love them. They're yeah. great. You recently tweeted that you're releasing My Kind of Love as the next single. Yes. For why? Um, well, My Kind of Love, I mean, next to me is done well over here. So oh, yeah, just a little, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which is Gosh. amazing. Yeah. You, you try and introduce yourself. So now I just thought, what's the perfect follow-up? And I love My Kind of Love. I love singing it. Mm -hmm. I love the response. And I just want it to be a single over here and, yeah. and see how it goes. And I hope um, the response is great. How do you pick which singles are going to be uh, released back home as opposed to here in the States? Um, it's it's the moment. You know, for me, when Heaven came out in the UK, it was the right moment to do it. It felt relevant. It felt like this is how I want to make my stamp in the UK. Yeah. And over here, I get that feeling from my kind of love. So you just have to kind of trust your tingling instinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was such a pleasure meeting you. And I'm so excited for you, where you're going and, and where you are and all Thank that you. stuff. Thank you. Thank you.